Hey, YouTubers, fan people, RV people, boat people, off grid people, all of you. How's it going? So, today we're gonna take a look at the toys that I have installed since I bought this rig. Uh, sound system and entertainment, TV, Chromecast, whatnot. First thing I did when I got this, of course, put in a new deck with hands-free calling for when I'm driving, obviously. A very, very, very nice friend of mine donated this beautiful amplifier and two 10-inch subwoofers. So this is installed right here. All the wiring's in this box built underneath here. A friend of mine built this little box here to make it look all nice and custom professional. Uh, it's all on one of the power switches as well, so I can just shut it off if I'm going to leave the vehicle for a long period of time. One of the subs I put in over here, built a box for it. The other sub, under the bed, as I showed you before in a previous video. And the TV. The TV is a 22 inch LED Majestic Marine TV. These are built for boats, just like the fireplace. Everything built for boats is high quality. Shock resistant, water resistant, you name it. And it's 12 volt, so I just... I just tapped into a wire right in the back there. Pulled it out of the wall and connected the TV. It's always there, it's always on. Remote controls, Velcro, best thing in the world. Turn on the TV. And this is what I do. Got myself Chromecast. Whoa, Chromecast. You haven't got a Chromecast yet. This is worth the 30 bucks it cost. Buy it from Google, buy it on eBay, buy it on Amazon, buy it at Future Shop, you name it. So it's plugged into the back of the TV. This is like a little USB dongle, and it connects to my Wi Fi, which is right there, Fredcast. My Wi Fi is this little hotspot running on Fido, so it runs off my data plan. Of course you could, you know, if you're parked near uh, Starbucks or McDonald's or wherever there's open Wi-Fi, you could always use that to connect your uh, Chromecast to that. So that's connected. And then you download the Chromecast app on your phone, ready to cast. Okay, so. This is what I do. Let's find YouTube video. I've already loaded up. Hit play. See that button up top there? That button right there. Connect to Craigcast. Click that. It connects to the TV. Now, it's all wireless. What about the sound you say? Well, you see, I didn't want to, I didn't want to run wires from the TV and through the vehicle. I, I wanted to keep this all clean and as professional and uh, factory looking as I could without having to run wires through everything and cutting holes and all the rest of that. So instead of directly connecting the TV to the stereo, I went with an FM transmitter. Set the stereo to 89.9. And here's the FM transmitter. Also at 89.9. And now the sound is piped through the sound system. Two speakers in the back, four speakers in the front, two subwoofers, and bam. And of course, remote control. I'll shut up these lights. Now you got surround sound for movies, YouTube videos, and all sorts of other apps on uh, Android. So this TV uses like, <laughs> it uses less than like 10 watts, it's LED, so it barely touches my battery at all. 
The stereo and amplifier use more power than everything else, but you know, with the solar system on here and the big AGM battery I have in here, it has never been a problem. So it's pretty awesome. And the sound quality is just amazing. When the beats hit, or when I'm watching a movie and there's explosions, these windows literally vibrate and rattle. It's just amazing. <laughs> Best little mobile movie theater ever. I don't know if you can hear that bass on the video, but I mean, if you're listening to this through a sound system too, then you'll probably hear the bass. If you're just listening to it on your laptop, you won't feel the uh, you won't feel the rumble. But. So yeah, those are my toys. I think it's essential to have good entertainment, especially in the winter time when you're living in an RV. You know. Fireplace, TV, surround sound. Life's pretty good. Okay, rest in peace, Chris Farley. We love you.